I suck at YouTube. Everybody probably can just infer that based on the fact that I never post videos anymore. Let me back up. I'm gonna be filming a weekend in my life. I have some like fun plans this weekend with my friend Lena and I kind of have some things I want to do like on my own and I figured I just need to do it and like film it and oh so my job I like work for Bloomingdale's as an assistant buyer so like I'm have been in a lot of like market appointments recently with different brands and essentially like building our buys for the season and so it's been like taking up a lot of my time and like I work from like 9 to 5, 9 to 6, Monday through Friday. So I've been struggling to have the energy and find the time to prioritize YouTube or like even make that like a regular thing in my life. But I was talking to my friend and we both just like have realized that like we really like to do YouTube and like create content and like share what we're wearing and like all that stuff and working for Bloomingdale's has like I mean working in general like working for a large company it's great like the people are great da, 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 but I've realized so much that like I want to be doing something more creative whether that's like my job or whether I'm like doing YouTube on the side like I, I need to be creative in some sort of way and like I love taking photos, but I just feel like I'm not doing it enough. Just like spend all my time during the week, like on a computer or on calls or like meeting with brands and like that's all great and stuff. And it's like awesome for a first job, but like I miss like filming fun stuff or like miss showing you guys like my apartment or like doing hauls. And like now, long story short, is I'm back and I'm gonna be doing YouTube again as often as I can. But honestly, like, YouTube is fun, and I feel like I love it, and, like, I can make good stuff and show you guys some cool shit that I'm doing, and I just feel like now's the time, because it's, like, now or never. I hope you guys haven't forgot about me forever, and after my meetings are over today, I'm getting my nails done, I'll take you guys with it, because they are like terrifyingly grown out. Um, hello. And yeah, I'm just gonna vlog. It might suck because I probably forgot how to do it. And you guys haven't seen me in a while, but yeah. Welcome back to my channel. Without further ado, welcome to a week and welcome to a weekend in my life. I hope you guys enjoy. morning guys it's 6 a.m. I'm going to meet my friend Lena at core power yoga like right around the corner from me and do a class with her and then I have to work until 1 guys this is Lena <laughs> we are so fit and healthy <laughs> good morning Oh my god, I'm so zoomed in. I do that every time. Wait. We did a 6.30 Friday workout class. And now we have to go to work. Oh my god, look, it's so sunny. Hey, hi guys. Um, the last time that I was vlogging was at Core Power with Lena. What did I do after? I came back and worked. I went to the gym because this morning was not enough exercise for me for the day. And then I just like took a really leisurely walk back home. Now I'm just gonna go walk and pick up a book. I don't know what shoes to wear right now. Full fit, Prada bag, free people dress, 
Intentionally Blank, I think is the brand of the shoes. And I got my sunglasses at Awoke Vintage, so I don't know the brand, but I'm ready to go. I'm gonna go get my book and take it to the park and read. shopping. I have a list of places I want to go. I'm going to give you a little fit check in my hallway. Okay. My dress is Princess Polly. Broken socks and just a white button-down shirt. It's like not super warm out today, so I'm going with like a little all brown maxi fit. So I'll just like film when I'm trying things on because I have to walk to the Lower East Side and that's not really gonna be interesting for anybody. So I'll see you guys when I get there. showered and changed and put back on a little bit of makeup because I'm going to go back out again at some point today but I wanted to like give you guys a haul of everything that I got because I didn't get like a ton of stuff but the stuff that I did get was expensive but honestly it's stuff that I feel like I'll have forever and like really good choices that I made so um one of these one of the things is I went to Everlane and got some like basic tees just like the best cut and you can like tuck it in a little bit with high I mean these aren't super high-waisted but you can like tuck it in in certain pants but I just needed like a basic white tee because I don't have any and I feel like it's a really good way to like you can dress it up or dress it down white tees with like some dark denim high-waisted jeans and like some sandals and some gold jewelry I feel like it's just like a killer look and then next I like made my way over to the Lower East Side to assembly they had the Stodd bag that I've wanted literally forever it's $250 though and I really like didn't want to spend $250 on the bag when I figured maybe I could get something I could get more use out of so I shopped around there there was one perfume that I fell in love with and it was $200 and I really want to go back and get it but like I can't um, so I got these vagabond shoes they're so cool I'm gonna try them on I like loved these they had a lot of cool shoes there but these like I had seen before and I, I have a couple pairs of shoes from vagabond already 
they're super platform as if I need like any more height to me, but I love them. I think they're so cool. And they're actually really squishy and comfy. You can wear them with anything, honestly. Like this outfit, I'd wear them with. Good purchase there. And then lastly, I went to Dana Foley, which I tried on the most stunning dresses ever, but this one little top kind of really caught my eye. It's a little bit big on me, but I figured it was worth it. The most dainty, pretty, bell sleeved top. And it's got some velvet detailing. I felt so girly in it. The designer was there and she was like, you have to buy that. And I was like, you're right, I do. But everything in that store, honestly, is like the style I'm trying to go for this summer, but this top is so beautiful. So, so, so pretty. And very lightweight. It's a small, I wish they had it in an extra small, but I think it's vintage, so there was only one. But I love her. She's literally so, so stunning. It looked really good with like a tight skirt. Like I would wear it with a tight skirt. But also you could wear it with denim. 100% denim. Or like even a little mini flowy skirt I feel like could be cute. I might end the video like soon. Actually I'll end it tomorrow. Because I'm going to work out. And maybe film a little bit working out. And then I think I'm just going to try and find a cafe and just like edit everything and so i want to like get started on the editing like right away instead of like wait super long and then i should have it up for you guys it was like a really nice wholesome kind of chill weekend friday night was fun with lena and meeting her friends and her sister turns out it wasn't her 21st birthday which i don't even i think i like made that up in my head i think she had told me she had recently turned 21 and i was like Oh, we're going out for her 21st birthday, but I guess she had recently turned 21 in April and we were just like going out because she was visiting. So I was just like, I literally introduced myself. I was like, hi, I'm Paige. So nice to meet you. Happy birthday. She was like, what? I literally felt so stupid, but it was really nice. Ooh.